There you go now, fellas. Here we go. Wolf of the Willows. We've got a triple X. Looks like a porno movie, doesn't it? The old black can, a little bit of red. Not too much in there. Bit of a surprise, this one. Wolf of the Willows have been around for five years, so they've kicked off for the big uh, five years, celebrating with frothing goodness. And this is a bit of a special, 9.2%, right up there, triple hopped. And we're going to give it a crack. It's got the black top too. I like the black can with the black top. It looks really smart. Smart looking can. Well done, fellas. I like it. Hope I like the beer. You can rave all you like about the can. It's all about the beer. But the can does help a little bit. It looks like it's going to be yummy already. So it's a triple XPA. Alright. Cheers, everyone. I don't think I've had a triple XPA before. I'll tell you what it tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Smash them with passion fruit. It's luscious, it's rich, it's like a double IPA, I guess. It's so fruity. Wow, guava, mostly passion fruit. Just smashes it. Beautiful, I love passion fruit. Mmm. Sometimes I'll have a drink of beer and you just can't scull it. It's so strong and luscious and rich. You want to keep it in your mouth as long as possible. This is one of those beers. It's really well balanced. There's a bit of malt backbone that sort of balances up against the hops with the triple hopping. But it, because of the triple hopping, it's right at the back. It's just sort of balancing it. Oh, it's lovely. This is a ripper. This is one of the best beers I've had for a little while. This is gorgeous. Oh. Now there's a Christmas beer, triple Christmas. How's that one? Get three of them. You see it, get a four pack. I think I might get a four pack of them. They're beautiful. Can't remember how much it was. I don't think it was cheap. Doesn't matter. It's Christmas, boys. I'll talk you into some decent beers before Christmas, I reckon. I, I reckon that's a beauty. Imagine giving a couple of them to your old man. He'd be smashed. My old man's 84, and he can't have real strong beers anymore, he wouldn't like it. He'd only have half of one, I reckon, he'd be going, oh no, that's it. You're kidding. That's a beauty. 9.2%. Woo! Loving it. Alright guys, take it easy. I don't know if you've seen Dead for Lungs, new video, I just absolutely love it. He had the really good Japanese beef. Like it was the true dinks, fair dinkum one, or the real good one. One of the best meals I've seen him eat ever. Or did, no, it's the best meal ever. And that's the sort of food I love, you know. Like we ate that food in Japan and Hong Kong and in Thailand. But that's what you got to do. you got to have one night where you go and eat the best. The best of the best. The rest of the week you're going to eat street food. Who gives a toss? But Saturday night or Friday night, whatever, whenever you feel like it, you go to the French restaurant and eat foie gras or something. Now, that's what I do. Just go out one night for the real expensive one. During the week, yeah, get the wood-fired pizzas, but it's no big deal, you know what I mean? But one night, you got to go to the go to the hog on the best food in the world and just pig out on it. If you don't, you're going to miss it. All right, well done, dead for long. Well done. Wolf of the Willows, the Triple X. That's great. Great stuff. Cheers, everyone.